Guys, do you believe in heroes? Do you actually feel that we have heroes in society? And when how many of you, when think about heroes, you imagine, oh, he's talking about Superman. Superman like this. Or he's talking about Iron Man. Maybe like this. Or he's talking about Shaktiwan. That's... So, guys, the question is that the word hero, what does it mean? What is the value of hero worship? Heroes in history, false heroism, and we're gonna talk about a lot more important things. So, hi guys, that's Manit Pandey, and I'm sure you guys are doing really well, preparing very hard for the exams, and let's talk about the most important thing today. Guys, I'm going to talk about archetype theories, archetype myths in literature, and here in this video, I'm going to talk about Aristotelian's ideal tragic hero, then we will discuss Saturn as a false hero, we will talk about Carlyle's hero and hero worship, and then we will go for Joseph Campbell, hero with thousand faces. Along with this thing, as you know that Manit Pandey keeps on taking you a lot of references we're gonna talk about gb shaw's man and superman where we have life force theory and then we're gonna discuss the artificial hero superfluous hero hemingway code of hero satanic hero byronic hero and the most important the artificial hero related to the famous writer jm singe who wrote playboy of the western world so sit tight and let's start the topic today guys Archetype myths. The very first thing is archetype myth has been related to myths in literature and how these myths reappearing in society again and again have started governing our language, our dialects, our mindset. A lot of people, those who are watching this video, if they find the video very tough or the language very tough, let's make it very easy. That's Vinit Pandey style. So let's make it easy, guys. Archetypes. Arc means it's old, ancient type a particular kind of uh, behavior which has been applied archetype is actually reappearing images in society they are reappearing and gradually they start giving you their own message friends how many of you when you drive bikes cars on the road you get scared when you find a white omni car you get scared do you white omni well maybe you don't get scared but yes when i even if i drive my bike I find white Omni car and the very first thing that comes to my mind is oh my god somebody is getting kidnapped yes sometimes I chase that sometimes I just really want to look at because this thing has been fixed in my mind that in lots of movies of 80s and 90s when I watched them maximum kidnappings were done in white Omni car related to dawns gundas villains how many of you when you find those old trucks which didn't have the front face, their mouth was like outside. That truck was related to uh, the killing of those, you know, the people, those who were Gawa, those who were supporting the heroes and all. You know what I call those trucks? I just say, Are wo gawahon ko udane wale truck hote hai na? the trucks which were used to kill those evidences and people who were evident. In short, why these things repeatedly appearing again and again have started giving you a message? Let's make it very easy. What happens when you find this vermilion, bangles, then some, you know, uh, uh, lemon and some other capsicum and other things placed together, chilies and all. So you find that it's a black magical thing. It has some message. Why do you understand that? Why it's a black magic? Why when you go for an exam and you're prepared and you just find a black cat and you get scared? Oh my God, I got a bad luck. My exam is not going to happen today. Why the 13th, the black, Friday the 13th, the black 13th has been related to bad things. Why these things, they appear in society? Because they are archetype myths. Yes, Northrop Fry, the Canadian writer, has coined the term archetype myths. And he was supported by his other writer, C.S. Jung, the one who talks about unconscious philosophy. Anna Spratt, who discusses the archetypal patterns in female poetry. And Joseph Campbell, who says, a uh, hero with thousand faces. So my concern today is the word hero what happens when you just hear the word hero who comes to your mind like when we say the word hero we have multiple heroes coming from various societies in fact sometimes students they write in my sentence that you are a hero but what kind of hero word is existing in society here we're going to talk about the hero with thousand faces hero hero worship carlisle's concept and false heroism milton's satin 
the very first thing that you have to remember is that we have been given multiple heroes in life so most of the cases when we talk about the word hero our hero is actually a Bollywood hero or a Hollywood hero do you ever imagine that Bollywood heroes they are always introduced as uh, the people living their life at large what happens when the hero has to save the girl and the girl has been kidnapped just imagine if you have seen movies go for those imageries we just find that hero breaks the wall or he has a bike and he jumps and he just enters what happens when if the real life is there suppose hero gets a call hi your girl has been kidnapped and you must come to save her hero is dressing up because that's also the part of life hero is looking for auto for ola for bus and what if the hero is saying to the conductor hi i'm a hero i have to save my girl and the conductor says sorry we don't have change of 2000 kindly wait for something else do they show you this thing no all they show you is heroic things all they show you heroes uh, boxing kicking action heroes uh, targetions dirty targets and they create that image if you remember the very first movie of ajay devgan when he was introduced in some fool and kante how does he come to a college remember yaad karo college when he comes to college he's actually his two friends are riding a bike and he is on those bikes with two legs and then this bike they go like this and he stretches his legs are you a sane person when you do this when you go to the college are you insane are you cynical crack are you a hero you say huh? so that's a hero does so in short all these things have been related to a heroism which has been given to us by bollywood and my most important question comes to you is that do we have the same image when we just change the gender and we use the word heroine so in most of the cases heroine has been used for getting kidnapped showing beauty used as glamorous or sex object in the movies friends you remember 2014 june there was a question who has written visual pleasures of narrative cinema it was written by laura mulvey laura mulvey is one of the famous writers and deals with fourth wave feminism she talks about women their role and women in media she says that women has been introduced in media as a sex object for glamour so our heroines are not the heroines who go and beat those villains and they come back is it happening in any book any movie if you have watched or read that heroine was kidnapped and the villain asked the heroine to call the hero heroine said hi don't worry i'm just coming and the heroine started beating those villains and then she came back no she is tied she is shown as a weakness the concept is that do we have this hero let's make it very easy that why they have been given the heroic task what will happen if you are hanging on a wall with just one hand and you're going to fall down so you are going to fall down and superman is flying by superman aapke paas hai udta hua ja raha hai superman finds you that you are hanging with just one hand and you are at risk what will superman do you will say uh, sir superman will save me superman will try to save me why so why he has been given this job why he has to save you because we have expectations when you say that hero hero is abdul kalam equally hero is captain vikram batra and hero there are teachers hero are our fathers our parents our mothers so hero with thousand faces there are people those who are leading their life and do not have heroic qualities like ideal tragic hero like aristotle's concept that do not come from the top good commanding families kingship royal class but they are hero remember christopher marlowe was the first man to discuss the common man tragedy dr fossus is a common man he doesn't come from any royal class any standard class or upper class he talks about normal things he is another character jew of malta and then the king tamerlane he is a shepherd who rises to the you know the level of the king so common man tragedies have been introduced what kind of hero is willy loman in the famous book death of a salesman on what kind of a hero is devain introduced in anita desai's in custody these guys are anti heroes so when anti hero is equally there and they are also leading their stories they are also leading their life why they have not been taken in a positive way our parents they do not enter in the houses by breaking windows and gates they are cultured they are mannered they knock so they have kind of uh, values they have moralities they have not been taken in a positive way they are not heroes but if somebody does something extreme something does something like different we have the word hero now the question comes that then if we have those moral kind of heroes then what is satanic hero satanic hero is who is having heroic heroic qualities 
he has heroic qualities to be leader to fight back to lead to cooperate to take uh, responsibilities but for a wrong reason so what if you are a person like Daud or, uh, or Osama bin Laden? You have all those heroic qualities, but you're doing it for the wrong reason. You become satanic hero. And then we find Byronic hero. In UGC net, it has been asked for many a time, what is Byronic hero? So what is Byronic hero? Byronic hero is actually a social outcast. Remember this thing? Byronic hero is not a moral hero, hero based on Aristotelian concept. Byronic hero is actually a guilt stricken man means he has done something wrong he knows that he is guilty of something and he's punishing himself for that he's social outcast he doesn't want to be the part of society even the society doesn't respect him and then remember the most important quality of Byronic hero is he is a womanizer and contemptuous of law he will break the law he is womanizer he is totally different and you can relate Byronic heroes to the Russian hero superfluous man remember friends in net there are three questions which were asked repeatedly again and again that what is superfluous man concept or the books related to superfluous man so remember that Ivan Terzinev wrote the diary of a superfluous man which talks about Byronic hero actually so Russian concept of superfluous man is the same thing outcast womanizer contemptuous of law but why these heroes are related and then we have a different hero Hemingway code of hero yes 99% people they don't know what is Hemingway code of hero Ernest Hemingway lived his life at large he won Nobel Award 1950 Pulitzer Award 1953 and was actually a person who loved life he started going for expeditions adventures para jumping paragliding he did everything including bullfighting his code of hero is who just wants to enjoy life a hero romancing with life a hero romancing with nature that is called Hemingway code of hero now the question comes how the prophets have been taken like we talk about Thor Thomas Carlyle's hero and hero worship they talk about different different types of heroes saying that Odin was in a, a hero in Norse mythology then prophet Muhammad Sahib is the hero Shakespeare is hero Napoleon is hero we have these heroes but in multiple ways and multiple point of view but then we have the soldiers the famous work written by Richard Eldington death of a hero they talk about the multiple heroes who come from the various society but guys the question comes that are we actually imposed with those heroic concept the famous book you must be knowing that the red bears of courage the red bears of courage here we have a hero he's coward he's so scared he runs away from the war but when he realizes that running away from the war has brought him shame he wants to go back to war to just get one small injury a wound in the body which will be called the red badge of courage so why to go for that false heroism that false glamorization guys you must be knowing that James Saints wrote the playboy of the western world where Christy Mahan is a character Christy Mahan is a disobedient person he never obeys his father he never works and one day when his father is beating him Christy Mahan gets a spade and hits his father on the head thinking that father is dead he runs away Christy Mahan goes to a new village where people when they question him that who are you why are you in this village he says I killed a tyrant my father was a bad man I got those guts to kill my own father and people instead of knowing the truth the start celebrating him oh my god we were looking for a hero oh my god somebody who has come to the city he's different he's new and here we have the post-colonial concept stranger king theory stranger king theory simply means that if you're a stranger and you come with a great story at all people start accepting you because they have been living in a conventional society where they really don't want to take anybody a hero from their own guys it's simple you are in the classroom and one of you starts teaching you you will never accept but a person he comes out of the class and says I want to teach you you will have assumption that maybe he's better that's the same thing Christy Mahan goes to the village they start celebrating him Christy Mahan becomes the love interest of widow queen and one more girl and one day his father comes and he says that Christy Mahan is not a hero he just uh, hit me and ran away because he knew that that when I wake up I'll be come back to my consciousness I'll beat him and his old reputation is insulted remember this in friend that in Ireland when James Singh published this book it resulted in riots which are called Dublin riots in Dublin 
gambling people started doing sabotage which was hated and condemned by WB Eats. WB Eats said that you prove to the world that you people, Irish people are not ready for the Irish genius. So the message was that James Inn simply made fun of that fake heroism, false heroism. Now the concept here comes that what is the difference between a common man and a superman? How you become a hero? The moment you become superman, people they start respecting you, people they start uh, following you, taking you as a leader. But how do you become superman? G.B. Shaw, George Bernard Shaw, the Nobel Award in 1925 and one of the best writer with 52 best selling books. He talks about life force theory in his famous work Man and Superman where the third act is called Don Juan in Hell. Guys, the concept of life force theory is, I'll ask you a question, I'll give you 10 seconds to answer me. How many of you are pure vegetarians? You'll be like, yes, yes. How many of you really don't want to eat non-veg? You will say, sir, we don't want to eat non-veg. Okay. What if a pure vegetarian has been locked in a room with no food at all and after five days we give him an option, do you want to eat chicken? What will the person say? Yes, yes, give me. Or maybe after 10 days. So if in a particular extreme condition, you are ready to eat that thing. It means it was not impossible for you. So it was just that you did not stretch your limit. Let's make it very easy for all the students. Come on girls, many of you are mothers, you have kids. Tell me, is there any reason that a lady, a girl will choose to fight a tiger? You'll say, no sir. It's not tiger my pet actually, it's tiger. You'll say, no, 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 I don't want to fight the tiger. You know, tiger is very ferocious. You will never try to fight it, right ladies? Now what if let's go for imaginary situation that you and tiger are facing each other and between you, you guys, it's your kid, it's your younger brother, it's your husband. Will you face the tiger or not? And you will say, sir, yes. We won't even think about that he's a tiger. We don't even care. We'll face it. It means that courage was in you only. It was already there, but you did not try to explore it. So the moment you'll get ready to face the tiger, you'll become Superman. Remember friends, courage is not absence of fear. It's just a judgment that something is more important than that fear. So remember, we all have courage. One more example. Can you jump from 10 feet or 15 feet? You'll say no. You don't want to take risks. What if it's a fire and you just have to jump? You will do that. So extreme situations, they make you explore you and it makes you Superman better than others and you become hero. The next concept we here have is that all these heroes and heroines, how they have been taken in a social society. You go to a young IPS boy and say, hi, sir, I'm really inspired and you are my hero. They'll be like, okay, thank you. And what if you go to a young IPS female? Hi, ma'am. You are my heroine. I am sure that IPS will slap you. Why so? You go to a young professor, the one who has qualified NET and JRF in very first attempt and you just say, Hi sir, I am also JRF aspirant and you are my hero. The person will be like, yeah, good, good. And if you go to a girl who has qualified JRF and you say, Hi ma'am, and you are a male and you say, Hi ma'am, you are my heroine. You yourself are laughing, I know, and you are smiling. Why? Because this is social construct. Heroine has been taken in a very different way, negative shade, negative light, and heroes they have been portrayed in a very different light. So that's what I'm talking about. That why these archetypes are given. Why Shaktiman will always save you. Many of you are 90s kids, you have seen Shaktiman. Why it's all about that we say, are you Salman Khan? When somebody's trying to lift something, somebody's trying to show you muscles like this, and you say, Are right, do you want to be Salman Khan? Why? If you are trying to do good in gym, is it only Salman Khan who is done? But yes, he is the first man who to do those these things. So he has been related to archetypes. There are multiple archetypes, Mother India, Bharatiya Nari, the great wise man, those colors, water. So in short, when you prepare for archetype myths, remember 90% people will have no idea about hero, hero worship, heroism, false heroism. And make sure you remember all these points whenever you want to have extra things, extra knowledge. You can simply call me or whatsapp me on my number 8587035827 and yes friends if you are liking these lectures i must tell you that we have online classes in this batch particularly we have nine batches so ninth batch will start from first of june we have started taking admissions and they get thousands of lecture like this so if i make these things easy for the, you in just one video you can imagine how they get advanced knowledge in the audience so i suggest you just do not waste your time even if it's just one month left hurry up 
text us on 8587035827 and till then enjoy the heroes of life thank you